in the last 100 years, humans have managed to accomplish a lot. Space agencies have sent humans to the moon, sent high-tech satellites above our planet, and are now setting their sights on Mars, saying that within the next three decades they hope to put humans on the Martian soil. Perhaps though one of the most interesting things organisations are currently doing is hunting for extraterrestrial life. The European Space Agency, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, and NASA have been working very hard to find out if we're completely alone. Today we have a big number of projects that are made to scan the stars for signs of intelligent life. Despite our efforts, we have yet to make contact. Various theories have been put forward for what life could look like, with some researchers even coming forward and saying that the human mind can't comprehend what's truly out there. One of the things that everyday people are now able to do is stargaze, with various companies offering high-powered telescopes. These give everyday people the opportunity to see our nearby planets in much more detail. However, if you're not able to afford one of these telescopes, you can look through old NASA photographs. Some of the most interesting ones are those from the Apollo missions, but not for the reason you may think. When you think of the Apollo missions, you may think of Apollo 11, when humans first landed on the moon, which has been described as being one of the most impressive things that humans have done, showcasing what we can achieve when our best scientists come together. There's others though who have said that these photographs are hiding secrets, and one of these was taken during Apollo 17. This photograph was taken during the Apollo 17 mission, with amateur researchers saying they think they found an anomaly. It was Scott C. Waring of UFO Sightings Daily website that made the discovery. He said the following, While exploring the NASA Apollo moon photos, I came across a photo that showed a black circle, with slightly uneven edges like a crater. I found this odd since I could not see the bottom of the crater, but such black circle craters have been discovered before. When I looked at the photo right before and after this one, the object was no longer there. Instead of an opening there was a lunar grey surface. The black hole was not visible. I knew from the past that there is a record on April 29th 2007, when an astronomer Alberto Mayo who lives in Italy, saw and recorded a giant black circle that moved across the lunar surface. Then it changed direction at a right angle. End quote. Others though have gone against the idea of it being something mysterious, and explain that it likely has a natural explanation. This person said the following, Whenever you see strange shadows it's important to look at every possibility. The most likely answer here is that the shadow was caused by the Apollo equipment. Many of these Apollo photographs allegedly show mysterious shadows, but many of these are just the modules or other man-made objects. End quote. The reason these ideas are put forward is because some think the moon may not be natural, but rather it's actually a base for otherworldly crafts. Before we carry on, it's important to note that scientists don't believe this theory, stating that there's no evidence to back this up. However, some have used previous studies to back up this idea. On November 14th, 1969, in an attempt to better understand the makeup of the moon, NASA placed multiple seismic readers across its surface, and then soon launched a lunar space module on a collision course for the moon. The idea behind this theory was to allow the lunar module to strike the moon with such a dramatic force, that it would send specific frequencies throughout the entire core of the moon, and allow the seismic readers to capture this data, and help to accurately map out the inside of the moon. What they soon discovered was baffling. Original theories and hypothesis had suggested that these reverberations would not last longer than a minute, given that the surface of our moon is covered in mostly basalt, of which would work to absorb these reverberations, and given its extensive presence, was believed to make up the majority of the mantle on the moon. It was mathematically calculated to prevent the seismic activity for lasting for a prolonged period of time. However, as the lunar module struck the moon, the entire celestial body began reverberating for over an hour. 
NASA scientists described its reverberation similar to that of a church bell ringing. Today, there is still no reasonable hypothesis for this cause, and no further information can be gathered given NASA's lack of future missions to the moon. The most legitimate theory available at this time comes from the works of Russian researchers Michael Vasin and Alexandra Shabagov that had put forward the artificial theory. They began to notice that the craters of the moon, regardless of the impact size or diameter, all equaled out in depth. They also noted that these craters generally had very shallow and flat interiors, and in other areas even contained convex bottoms. They hypothesized that the meteors are hitting an armored hole underneath the basalt surface, preventing further depths into the celestial body, and believing the moon to be a possible spaceship created by complex alien life. This theory was only reinforced as the mathematics for the moon, and its density became an apparent issue. Given its size, location, and theorized general makeup, the moon should have a density of roughly 5.5 grams per cubic centimeter. However, given its orbital path and overall physics, we find the moon to only be 3.3 grams per cubic centimeter, causing the moon to be much less dense compared to that of our planet, despite theories of the moon's creation coming from the materials of the Earth. NASA said the following on their website. The entire moon rang like a gong, vibrating and resonating for almost an hour. The best guess was the moon was composed of a rubble a lot deeper below its surface than anybody had assumed. The internal structure being fractured instead of a solid mass could bounce the seismic energy from piece to piece for quite a while. End quote. Regardless, this idea is not backed by modern scientists, saying that our moon is very much natural and that there's nothing on there that points to there being life. So what do you guys make of these old Apollo images, and what do you think it shows? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.